Yeah. Woo! <laughs> We're back. Different intro. Fuck it. Um. Oh, fuck, it's Changing it up, huh? Fucking, we both just voice cracked. Fuck that. We, <laughs> we, <can't laughs> we are back with another one. Yeah, it's a different intro. Nile's talking Whoa. the ways. He's talking the ways. Changing um, it up. <laughs> but this is another reaction to something that I've already seen. But space. What I'm doing. What I'm doing with these. <laughs> Space. Space. <laughs> what? I'm sort of doing reactions with him so he can sort of, because you don't know YouTube like that. You just sort of watch what you watch and that's it. Mm-hmm. So with these sort of legendary sort of YouTube sort of, get, these are like the reactions that everyone does when they do reaction channels. Yeah. And I feel like it's just good for you to watch these and then we'll start doing ones where you've not seen the stuff and I've not seen it either pretty much. But um, Sounds good to me. Yeah, this is how the universe is way bigger than you think. I love this video, it's probably one of my favourite ones on YouTube. And you seemed to enjoy my reaction last time to it, and again, it was one of my favourites, so I know you'll enjoy it. Because when it comes to space, it's always just fun. Oh, it's fa- it fascinates me, yeah. space does that. Like, I'll watch all sorts of like, blows your mind. Them, just, just want to know more than yeah, you can. It's so deep. Yeah, it's like, it is fucking. You just feel so small. And, <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> is it going to be your come, mate? Come on. <laughs> oh, climax. <God's> <laughs> <laughs> oh, this God. is real this is proper science right here <laughs> <laughs> you're wrong in the head mate um mm. we're just gonna get into this man fuck that <laughs> this is a real life lore video made possible by squarespace make you <coughs> move with a beautiful website from squarespace this is That's earth You live here on this planet somewhere, and everything that you've ever known is located right here. But, just how small exactly is Earth when compared to the scale of the entire universe? Let's start by zooming out to where we can see our nearest cosmic Fucking neighbor. Is so quiet on this. The moon. You may think that the moon is very close to Earth since it dominates our night skies, but in reality the moon isn't this close to our planet, it's actually about this far away. 384,400 kilometers away from you right now on average. You could fit 30 entire Earths in between this distance, and if you somehow were able to drive a car at a constant 100 kilometers per hour speed, it would take you about 160 days to drive the entire distance. Despite this incredible <laughs> distance, however, 12 humans have actually set foot here, representing it's the furthest ages, away that See, I find only 12, human considering how long ago it was since the first. Like, why don't you want to go back when there's probably so much to learn? Yeah, and I think the last time a human's been there, it's been, like, a long time. But I suppose they just send, like, drones there now, don't they, rather than people. Safer, probably yeah. more efficient, cheaper. Yeah. And plus. Nothing has to come back, does it? Yeah. Has ever been away from... Although, I don't know if they bring drones back. Maybe they No, don't. but I mean, I don't know. Like to I get feel the like they back. just end up like space dust. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they do want to bring stuff back, because obviously they want to like um, look at it and see like. Yeah, but things. I'm pretty sure they just like. I don't know. There's technology in the thing mm. that sends the data back. That could actually be true too. Probably. From the Earth, probably right. And one of humanity's greatest achievements. This is what the Earth would look like from there if you were standing there with them. And if you wanted to communicate with somebody back at home, it would a take cool a message view. about two and a half it. seconds to travel I mean, between you and them, it. since that's how fast the speed like, of light can travel at. Like this but. is a photo that was taken on Mars, and that tiny dot that you see there is Earth as seen from the Martian surface. On average, Mars is an incredible 225 million kilometers away from Earth, but that distance can be as high as 401 million kilometers. That means that whenever humanity finally gets around to landing a human on the planet, that person will be 986 times further away from Earth than the astronauts who landed on the moon were. In addition, the time delay for sending a message from Mars back to Earth isn't just two and a half seconds, it's actually more like 20 minutes each direction. Sending a text, it'll take 20 seconds for it to be sent to Earth. Do you understand how it sort of works? It's a really weird, this blows my mind as well. It's, it's like, the further the, it's because it gets sent through fucking waves and shit. Yeah. I don't know what the fucking wave is, but it can't travel more. I think, I don't know how, if it travels in 20 minutes at the, at the light speed. So at the speed of light, it gets sent in 20 minutes to Earth. Well, isn't there something like... I saw it in the movies, so I don't know if it's They true. age. They age. Bro, oh, this people. fucking blows my mind. So people age more. If you're like far out in space, people age more on Earth. 
if you're you going at a certain speed. Yeah. If you're going at like the speed of light, people age quicker. So you, you could go back and be like a year older and people be like... But I think it's actually true. That's, I don't know if it's 100% guaranteed. I just don't get how that works. I, I've done videos, I think, specifically on that topic. And like people in the comments like, this is actually like scientifically... Like, I don't know if they said it was proven, but like possible. It could be true, yeah. And that just... <laughs> I don't get you it. leaving. You got young kids. You come back and they're older than yeah. you. <laughs> have you seen um, what's that space film? When you Yeah. Have you seen that? I think, I think so that's the film man. I saw it on. It's so fucking good, man. But just the idea of it just blows my mind. Correction, yeah. which would render instant communication in the event of an emergency impossible. When we zoom out even further away, <laughs> we can find the Voyager One space probe, which is the furthest away man-made object from Earth. It is currently located 138 AUs from the Earth, AU meaning astronomical unit, which is the distance between the Earth and the Sun, which means that Voyager 1 is 138 times further away from us than the Sun is. At some fuck? point on its long voyage, what? Voyager 1 turned its camera around and took this photograph. It may not look like much at first, Please but in it. my opinion, this is the greatest single photograph ever taken in all of human history. This tiny, pale blue dot is Earth, and I don't think that anybody has ever said something as amazing about this as Carl Sagan when he said, If you look at it, you see a dot. That's here. That's home. That's us. On it, everyone you ever heard of, every human being who ever lived, lived out their lives. The aggregate of all our joys and sufferings. Thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economic doctrines. So every deep. hunter and every forager. Every hero and coward. Every creator and destroyer of civilizations. Every king and every peasant. Every young couple in love. <laughs> you peasant, every you hopeful pagan. child. <laughs> every mother and every father. Every inventor and explorer. Every teacher of morals every corrupt politician, every superstar, every supreme leader, every saint and sinner in the history of our species lived on there, on a moat of dust suspended in a sunbeam. Voyager 1 is currently traveling <laughs> at 17 kilometers every single Don't you guys, it's gonna get even crazier. Second, oh, no. but even at that speed, Not it will ready. break out of the reach of our solar system for another 30,000 years. Wait, Once you just, did you hear that? No. 17 kilometers ended in a sunbeam. Voyager 1 is currently traveling at 17 kilometers every single second, but even at that speed, it won't break out of the reach of our solar system for thousand another 30,000 years. <laughs> Once Madness. we go beyond the solar system, we arrive in our interstellar neighborhood. Here we shift to the light year unit of measurement, which is the distance that light travels in a full Earth year, or about 9.461 trillion kilometers. The star Proxima Centauri here is the closest other star to us other than our sun, but it's still 4.24 <clears throat> light years away from us. To put that into perspective, if it was heading in the right direction, it would still take Voyager 1 over 70,000 years to reach it. In other words, if you drove your car at 100 kilometers an hour like in our previous example to the moon, it would take over six times longer than the entire age of the In other words, if you- Fuck, I didn't that. <laughs> what the fuck, Just to finally get there, and it wouldn't fuck. even exist still when you arrived. Oh my god! <laughs> I, I, see, I've watched it so long ago, I forgot how crazy it actually is. Let alone taking how long it takes to get there. You won't even fucking see it when you're there. What the fuck? Just to finally get there, and it wouldn't even exist still when you arrived. When we zoom out even me. further, we can see the entire Milky Way galaxy, inside of which Earth is located right here. This yellow dot is the furthest extent of humanity's radio broadcasts throughout history, which means that any possible aliens who live outside of this range are totally unaware of humanity's presence. It's complete silence outside of this yellow dot as far as we are currently aware, but the entire galaxy spans over 100,000 light years from end to end. There are over 100 billion stars and over 100 billion planets inside of our galaxy. But you have never seen the full glory of the galaxy at night, because 99% of the stars that you can see with the naked eye are limited to this small, tiny region right here. That's ridiculous, isn't it? This it's is just, just a crazy. fucking Milky Way. It's just crazy. It, What's here. the bit in the middle? Asking the wrong guy, mate. Is it just one massive but, ting? Uh, <laughs> 
don't actually know. Is it just a gas? It must be. What is this? My, my fucking friend told me to buy his keyboard. He said, I'll get it. And I'm like, why? And he said, it makes noise. I'm like, well, that's not fucking good for YouTube. <laughs> but he told me after. <laughs> the center of the galaxy is a dense and chaotic place. The stars and gas hurting around... Hurling around... Hurtling around the Milky Way's supermassive black hole, Saga Sagittarius. It has a mass more than 4 million times the mass of the sun, crowned into diameter, just about 30 times the sun's width. So yeah, it's just a chaotic fucking mess. Just, it's basically just the creation of everything. I guess it's kind of similar in a sense, yeah. yeah. But even this Maybe massive... it's what gives the life to the whole galaxy. Yeah. I don't know, but maybe. The galaxy is nothing compared to the rest of what's so out there. Questions. Zooming out even <laughs> further and we arrive at the local <laughs> group of galaxies. A collection of 54 different galaxies that is about 10 million light years across. But zooming out even further and we can see the Virgo supercluster, of which the local group here is just a tiny segment of. Do you get that? So our galaxy is within this group. Yeah. So this isn't even our galaxy, this is just the group of our galaxies. Yeah. And then there's a whole other fucking group of shit ton of... There are at least well, 100 the thing, like, infinity, other... The word infinity is like... The only way you could use that yeah. is space. Yeah, but it's like... The people always... It like, does go on and it... Does it ever end? I don't actually know. Does it ever end? I don't know how people can even know it's, it's like how they can know. Because it must end somewhere. It can't just go on and on. Yeah, but, but apparently it's just growing constantly. That's yes. the thing as well. But there must be a point where it comes. There's still the dark space, but nothing. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I guess because obviously space started from somewhere. That was where it all began, mm -hmm. and it's been expanding. So I guess where it's expanding and where the new parts are, it's sort of like how ours was 13 billion years ago when. The stuff in our galaxy or whatever started yeah. happening and now it's just happening in their galaxies or whatever other groups of galaxies, galaxies just like our own local group inside of here and but the how do they know, like how can they even tell from this like what i don't know since from one side Maybe to the other is a mind-numbing 110 from million are, light know. years but even the massive virgo supercluster is nothing but a quiet and tiny lobe of the great lania supercluster an enormous structure that is home to our galaxy so this is not the virgo supercluster that was just the last one and now it's just a <laughs> as it's well as 100,000 other galaxies. Just the fuck distance off. from one side to the other Man. is 520 million light years, but from even there we can <laughs> zoom out all the way to the entire observable universe and see that even the titanic Laniakea supercluster is just a tiny and insignificant part of everything. This is the observable universe, and it contains everything that we know of. It is home to at least two trillion different and individual galaxies, which together contain more stars than there are grains of sand on the entire Earth. The distance from Earth sand, to yeah. any side of the observable universe is 46.5 billion. From half of it. Distance from Earth to any side of the observable universe is 46.5 billion light years, which means that the entire width is 93 billion light years across. What's perhaps even Probably more interesting, however, see. is what actually lies beyond the observable universe. Keep in mind that the observable universe is all that we can currently see, and it's entirely possible that the rest of the universe outside of it is vastly larger and more fantastic than we can possibly ever imagine. We simply don't know what else is out there, because the light from these incredibly distant places has not yet had enough time in the universe's history to reach us yet back on Earth. Do you get that? Like yeah. how light travels? So we're seeing... We're seeing... We these galaxies billions of light years away and they'll be like this planet on this galaxy yeah but it may not actually be there anymore it's just what we see yeah, it's what we see it was that long ago it's, it's just i don't understand anything it's anymore. just taken that long to travel to us yeah and by the time it's traveled to us it's gone yeah <laughs> it's just stupid man <laughs> well it was the there we missed our stop <laughs> Not fair, man. I hope when we die, yeah, I don't care. I'm going to that. Yeah. I hope when we die, we know everything. Yeah, I know. Some places crazy. may never reach us at all. Because some parts of space very far away from Earth are expanding away from us faster than the speed of light, that means that the light Fast. from these places will never, in an infinite amount of time, reach Earth. Meaning that even if humanity is eternal and exists forever, there will still be an unknown number of places in the universe that we will never know about or ever see. So, it is very it likely... Think aliens, yeah. 
have to there are some creepy ass things they're about. There's probably like space worms. One hundred. They probably are. Going around. Like, <laughs> 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 have you seen that June film? June. It was on in the cinemas recently. There's like worms on the planet. No. But it was fucking cool. Actually, I watched so um, Avengers though. I was only asked because there's worms in the film. Well, there's, there's worms in <laughs> Avengers. Wait, when was the Avengers out? I don't know. Ages ago. I'm on around now. <laughs> Why are you telling me about a film three years ago? I watched it the other day. <laughs> oh, like Amazon Prime or whatever. Yeah, yeah oh, Disney man. Plus. You're Disney Plus. Do now. Okay, that as unbelievably <laughs> enormous as it seems, <laughs> the observable universe is just very likely that as unbelievably enormous as it seems, the observable universe is just a tiny slice of what we can currently the see of moment. the entire universe. According to the theory of cosmic inflation that was proposed by Dr. Alan Guth, if it is assumed that cosmic inflation began at 10 to the negative 37th of a second after the Big Bang, and with the assumption that the size of the universe before inflation began was equal to its age times the speed of light, then this would seem to suggest that at the present day, the entire universe is 150 sextillion See, times. I can't even factor how much that actually is. To no, I, like, all that is just like, I'm reading it, I don't know what it means. Yeah. Times <laughs> larger than the observable universe. That number for reference looks like this, with this many zeros. Let this number sink in for just a moment. This would be similar to you thinking that the entire observable universe, everything that you could see was the size of a light bulb, but then realizing that in reality, the entire universe is larger than the former planet of Pluto. <laughs> so a light bulb on that so what planet, we think basically. That, what we think the universe, yeah, compares. Yeah. What we think so it if is. we put a light bulb on that, on Pluto, Yeah. We only know about the light bulb. Yeah, we think it's just a light bulb, but in yeah. actuality, it's, it's the size of Pluto. In reality, the entire universe is larger than the former planet of Pluto. Imagine a light bulb in the center of Pluto, but we yeah. inside the light bulb were totally unaware that Pluto existed outside of it, and that's a similar situation to this. We are all so unbelievably small, but you shouldn't worry, because all that means is that there is so much left out there for us to discover together. And the thing is, we think this the video Earth is was. Big. Yeah. <laughs> Look, think how small we are. We think this fucking. This country. Well, not, not this country, but like the land's big that we're on. Yeah. Then you've got the Earth and you've got fucking. Oh, it's just, it's just... just. Think how poor little ants feel. I know! <laughs> they don't even have a clue! <laughs> <laughs> it's just unreal, man. I love this shit, though. It's oh, so interesting to see. Madness. I'm just sad this video's over. I wish you could just watch more of oh, it. Oh, no. We've got definitely watch more of them sort of videos. Yeah. So we'll do more of the future. It fascinates me. Let's just see a few comments. Maybe we'll see a couple of scientists in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know this, I know that. Ooh. Fuck off. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. Um, it really puts into perspective how truly insignificant our problems are on this tiny speck of dust. We are literally, like, we are the, we're, we're smaller than ants in the whole grand scheme of oh, things, no. though. Like, it's just fucking... I don't understand it. I just want to know the answer. <sighs> just going to lay the rest of the day just like, <laughs> what even is like? <laughs> Saying that aliens doesn't exist is like talking, no, talking, taking a tablespoon of water from the ocean saying that fishes don't exist. <laughs> That's actually a good analogy. Yeah, really. it is, yeah. Um, this is the video I fall back on when I'm feeling down about something. Help me, helps remind me how irrelevant and insignificant my problems are. That's true. It's true, though, isn't mm -hmm. it? Like, it, our problems are nothing. It's just all nothing. Yeah. Right? Nothing's actually really here. No. Again, we've said this probably in a video before. We're just like a little fucking... We're probably just a speck of dust in someone's fucking room. Mm -hmm. This whole universe is just a speck of dust in someone's room. <laughs> and one day it's going to get swept away and we're gone. <laughs> oh, what a shit analogy that is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be like this person. Someone's going to come and clear them cobwebs <laughs> and you're just nothing. <laughs> what you've lived for is nothing. <laughs> Why is there a big broom coming down with that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this um, reaction. We're going to do more space ones, because I know you enjoy them, and they're my favourite things to Absolutely. do. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed, and until next time, like, subscribe, and peace. Peace.